Old Fast Marines videos are brought to you with support from Total Boat and from viewers like you. To support our channel, please subscribe and use our discount codes at TotalBoat.com. Thank you. Hi everybody, Will from Hold Fast Marine, your local boat shop. Um, the fine, fine, wonderful folks over at Total Boat asked me to do a quick little time lapse of applying gel coat um, for them to show you the public. Um, but I'm an over information kind of guy and there's no information given in a time lapse whatsoever. So I'm doing this quick little video to show you how to apply gel coat uh, to your project. Now, we're gonna be rolling the gel coat on uh, simply because I'm trying to cure some Total Boat laminating resin that I've applied. Now, the mixing and the rolling is gonna be the same for you doing a finished coat, all right? And we'll even show a little bit of tipping as well. But anyway, that's kind of what we're doing here. Um, we're gonna cure this gel coat over, or this uh, resin over here. It's on the uh, port side of this boat. So let's get right into it and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we have our Total Boat Gel Coat White contains wax. This is what we're gonna be using. And if I can pull this off by mixing this, catalyzing this, getting it over there and setting up the camera, it's gonna be a miracle. First things first, I'm gonna kind of get myself up set up for success. I'm going to take my, my roller here and I'm going to grab a uh, epoxy glide roller from Wooster, which I, I quite like these. They're nice and nappy. I'm also going to grab a chip brush, pull the cap off and uh, get that to clean that up. And then we'll throw that in the tray too. So here we go. Get this gel coat open. using a screwdriver helps. Now always make sure that you shake or stir your gel coat up uh, really well before doing this. So we're gonna put in, we're gonna fill this about eight ounces, give or take. A little bit more than I need, but I wanna get a good thick layer on. And then we'll just wipe that out, chuck that in the tray. So I'm gonna be catalyzing this at about 2%. So, Get our little handy dandy mixer here. And a little bit more than I wanted. So we'll. There we go. Cap on. Now your clock has started. She's going to start to set, so we need to move a little quick. So you want to mix this up really good. And I'm sorry if I sound out of breath because I am, because I'm out of shape and uh, literally had to run down here to set all this camera crap up. Of course, adjust the lighting. So we mix it up real good. Now I know this looks dirty, but I can assure you it isn't. It's all been wiped down with the Total Boat's uh, uh, surface prep and de-waxer. Really stirred up there. Just gonna pour it right into the paint tray. Now these Wooster rollers really, they suck up a ton of gel coat. So. We're just going to roll it on. I like to start at the top because that's where my drips are going to come from. It's going to come from the top. So we'll start rolling this on. Make sure I get everything that I glassed. Get another bit here. Then I'm just going to take this roller and roll out the gunnel with whatever is left on the, on the roller. Again, this is just to seal uh, this poly resin off. And this is all going to, we're going to sand this all down because we've got quite a bit of, quite a bit of fairing to do. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. Uh, again, this is all getting sanded down. But what I wanted to show you was if I get a whole bunch of gel coat on my brush here, and we'll do it right here. And I just kind of lay that up. You see how it doesn't sag, it doesn't drip. It just kind of holds in there like that. So there's no sagging. Um, gel coat is terribly hard to tip. That's why I generally like to either spray it or roll it uh, on for the finish. But just coming in here, making sure that we get every little, there's a spot there you can see that we didn't quite get. But you can see how it filled all those holes in. Same thing right there. We've got 
spot there it's a lot of holes so I just push the brush in and get some of that out of there and see it fills the holes right in so it's kind of good because it's kind of like a pre-fairing you know get all these you know gooblies in there the only thing is is you want to keep it as smooth as possible that's just easier to sand all right so that's kind of the short version of applying Jellico. stir it pour it catalyze it stir it again put it in your roller tray roll it on um, you can use the little foam rollers those are fine i don't like using the mohair rollers because they have some nap in them and the the nap generally isn't solvent safe and the gel coat bundles up in it and leaves a, a mess um so now with all of this as well as the portion on the bow i'm going to give it you know two or three hours to to cure fully it's 66 degrees out here right now so it's going to take a while to cure um, and then i'll come in i'll sand this all down uh, with some uh, probably 60 grit get it as smooth as possible and then start the fairing on the gunnel and around the front tapering it up and then we'll do laminating gel coat and laminating gel coat is great um, because we can we can get some build up which is what we want um, so yeah i'm uh, off to edit the first video edit this video and then order some more uh gel coat because well now i'm out so thank you guys for watching subscribe to the youtube channel you know the drill hit the bell notification comment like it don't like it whatever share it that's great but i really appreciate each and every one of you for watching uh, don't forget we've also partnered up with patreon because i need some new camera gear and well stuff's expensive so maybe you guys could help out there a little bit as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.